All right, guys, I want to give you a quick update. I'm out here on Kentucky Lake. It's springtime. Um, it seems to be springtime anyway. It's that's that's what the uh, you know Easter's come and gone. Uh, everything's behind this year. You can look behind me here and you can see all the bushes that are don't have any green on them. Normally when I'm up flipping in the springtime, you'll see a lot of green on those bushes. Not seeing that. Some of them are just starting to bud. Um, if you've fished here any at all in the springtime, you know when the water comes up, fish love to get in the bushes. And some of those big bushy green ones are the best ones a lot of times. And you don't see a lot of those right now. But everything's been behind. I still got the Sims gear on. I'm tired of fishing in Gore-Tex and toboggans and it, I'm just ready for some warmer weather but it looks like forecast is showing it's going to be like 80 degrees by the weekend so I just thought I'd check in real quick I've been a little bit late getting started this year springtime is you know it, on the lake now you know when the water comes up it'll show you what the lake's really got in it you know if you follow along the last couple of years you know the lake's going through a little bit tough times but the good news is we're seeing it we're, we're on the uphill swing of things I think and we're not we're not um, you know, it's not going downhill. You know, I'm seeing a lot of numbers um, a little bit later this year than I did last year just because we've had so much rain and everything's been behind. So, I, you know, I've not seen those big numbers of fish that you could catch pre-spawn like I have in years past. But a lot of fish in the lake, you know, it's, it's just a matter of getting the right water conditions and, you know, fish pulling up. And it'll show you what the lake's still got in it. So, um Water temperatures hanging around, you know, we've had some cold nights here the last few nights, so it's hanging around 56 to 58 degrees for the most part, and then by the end of the day, you're usually seeing 60 degrees. Now, it warmed up over the last couple weeks, but then we've had some really cold nights, so just say, you know, 58 to 61 degrees is what I'm seeing for the most part. As far as water color, when the, when the heavy rains came in the last couple weeks, uh, water got really muddy in some of the major feeder creeks. Um, that I like to fish up here on the north end especially but most for the most part it's starting to clear up some especially on the east side if you go over on the east side it's really really clean so if you're looking for that shallow water bite you know I would typically stay on the west side just simply because that east side is just it's a confidence thing not saying you can't catch some fish over there but I like a little bit dirtier water but for the most part the water is starting to clean up um, you still find some dingier pockets you know I'm back here in the back of a creek right now and you can see I don't know if you could tell you know looking over my shoulder the water's got a little bit dingier color to it so um, water levels like I say 360 360 and a half I think and it's supposed to crest here over the next couple of days I don't think we're gonna see a major flood um, and then by the weekend you know it'll start falling back down and that's one thing about springtime here on this lake is that the water fluctuates so much and that's one one reason that you know, the fishing has been so tough over the last few years is because there's about two or three years age class of fish that we're missing due to fluctuating water. Um, but hopefully the water will come up. I've always said I wish they'd bring it up Easter weekend, you know, at 360 and leave it there for three or four weeks, let the fish get in there and spawn, um, do their thing, and then they can do what they want with it. But it fluctuates a lot. This is the this is the holding lake before it dumps into the river system. So all the rains come from Pickwick, um, Gunnersville, anything you know that way anything south if it floods you know it all comes here eventually so uh, fluctuating water you know always be on the lookout I've talked about it before you know TVA has an app where you can see what the predicted lake levels are and um, what they currently are what they're doing with the water that sort of stuff so um, bait wise you know flipping bait um, this is the six cents prawn on a sunnier day, like if there's, you know, if I don't have any clouds in the sky, I throw this dark melon color. It's a dark color on the front and then a watermelon red on the back. And it just, you know, it, it, it gives a little bit of flash in the water. And it's got that dark enough color on one side of it that if the water's a little bit dingy, it works really good. And then black and blue. I'm a firm believer that um, keep the color simple, keep the bait simple. If you like to flip a beaver, if you like to flip a Z-Man craw of some sort, if you like to flip a Zoom Z-Craw or a... Uh, missile baits, D-bomb, whatever that may be, fish are there, they're going to bite it. It doesn't matter. It's just whatever whatever bait you like to flip. I've got a lot of confidence in these uh, Six Sense products. Uh, and then another thing, you know, if it's um, if it's dark, I'll throw the black and blues. Like I'm out here today, it's a cloudy overcast day. Just throw your, your black and blue colors. And then always this time of year, the Accent Spinner Bait. This is the Spring Ding. Um, it's got the red kicker blade you know that's been real popular over the last few years indiana on the bottom and it's it's what it does it 
a lot more vibration than just a, your standard double willow, especially in that dirtier water. You know, it's got that red kicker blade. But if you see those fish that are up and they're just, you know, on those cloudy days, they'll tend to kind of just roam around. The sunny days is when they really get pushed into the bushes. I'm out here this morning. It's actually a bit overcast and we've not gotten the bites that I did like on a sunny day. So I don't know if the fish are just roaming around, but I don't have enough wind to give me confidence in throwing that spinnerbait. So just be versatile, you know, keep your keep your eyes peeled for the weather conditions, water conditions, and um, you know, it's springtime. Fish are up shallow. I look for, you know, the next few days, I think we're gonna see a lot of fish move up. Get a lot of bites right now, but I'm, I'm you know, you might fish all day and get 25 bites and you may only get one three pounder out of the bunch you know i'm just not seeing that quality i'm sure there's some guys that's caught some quality there were some good stringers caught over the weekend in the jetta marina tournament um they had some heavy stringers um and i'm sure a lot of those fish were caught shallow because um or caught up flipping you know flipping buck brush and trees willow trees because the water has been up but it's just a matter of hitting enough places running enough water and finding those areas where those little bit better quality fish are. The farther south you go, you're gonna find a little bit warmer water. That's kind of, hit, you know, history shows that it always warms up quicker down there. It seems like those bigger fish will bite sooner down there and they get out a lot, uh, a lot sooner than they do up here on the north end. So that's kind of it um, for this week. Um, be on the lookout here in the next few weeks. Like I say, I got started a little bit late this year, but um, I'll, I'll try to do a report every few weeks. But if you're looking for a trip, get out on the water, shoot me an email, info at brandonhunterfishing.com. Don't forget we're at High Tech Outdoors there in Benton, Kentucky, right there on 68 before you get to Moore's. Uh, Camus dealer, we sell Harris pontoons, Crestliner boats, Avid boats, um, all your electronics needs, Hummingbird, Lawrence, Garmin, we've got them all. So come by, check us out, check us out there at the shop and look at us online at High Tech Outdoors com but uh, next time I see you um, it'll be a few weeks from now but hopefully the fishing I'll have a I'll have a good report over the next few weeks so see you on the water